Hey up everybody, welcome to this week's video. Well, we made it to Chazzy's Boatyard. If you didn't see last week's video, then I highly recommend you do because it'll make a lot more sense to this week's. I'll put a link in the description. But basically, I had a major problem with my prop shaft. Had an absolute nightmare and the video is all about trying to find out what it was. But we know what it is now. And guess what? It was the thrust bearing. Of all the bearings to go, it was the thrust one. So that part's now on order. In this week's video, we have a little explore of Chester and it's a beautiful city. If you've not been there, I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna show you a few scenes of Chester because it's absolutely beautiful. And then you'll see my cruise from Chester to here. So I hope you enjoy. So what else is there to do? When your engine's broken, you might as well come into Chester and have an explore, get a coffee, do some shopping. So there's no point stressing and there's loads to do in Chester. It's an absolutely beautiful city. I mean, we had all the walls to explore and they go all the way around the city and they're absolutely beautiful. Look at these beautiful cobbled streets. And then we went into the town itself and did a bit of shopping and it's absolutely beautiful. All the black and white buildings are gorgeous. So it's definitely worth a visit. So we've come to Planet Donut. Look at these. Let me show you these. Them bad boys, this is what you can see. You can put a smile on Jackie's face, look. Jack. <laughs> look at the size of these, they are absolutely massive. I just had to nibble the side of them, I couldn't even get it in my mouth. It took me ages to eat it. Fat get. <laughs> so, after being given the go ahead that it was safe to drive the boat with the prop the way it was, we were on our way. Started the engine up, done a turn around, and now leaving Chester. It's a fantastic place to be, however, the noise um, at night time with everybody shouting, it's coming home, it's just, uh, oh, I've had enough. Two o'clock every morning, two or three o'clock in the morning, somebody's going past pissed and shouting it. The final's not even till Sunday, tomorrow, but we thought I didn't want to be in Chester for the final. Still not cut these trees down. just having a bit of a rest at the lock waiting for the water to equalize what I always do though when I'm the only boat in a wide lock I always drop my own paddle and push the boat across so it makes it a lot easier because then I can go out the towpath side gate and then it's much easier for Jackie to just jump on so she's not having to walk all the way back round and drop that paddle and shut that gate I learned that little trick when I was single handing everywhere cruised the boat to here and it's sort of it was all right I've obviously I've got here okay but it just feels like there's quite a lot of um, resistance in that thing so I need to get it sorted we're just getting water now we're at the water point and um, we've had the washing machine on as well so uh, I have to angle that out soon okay little man it's just nice to be out of Chester we're gonna go and find a nice mooring now that's out the way but that's got a signal because Jackie needs to watch the football tomorrow, the final. Don't you, Jax? Yes. I need a signal. Have you got there, Jax? Pet bee. Oh, is that bumblebee? Bumblebee. Cobb bears. 
<laughs> oh, pudding, come here. So this bumblebee was on the roof of the boat whilst we were filling up with water and Jackie went to check on it to see if it needed any sugar or any water and it jumped on her arm. So she's just putting it back now somewhere where it's going to be safe. Yay! It's amazing little things, aren't they? trying to find a mooring spot now somewhere good somewhere we've got a bit of sun for the solar panels and hopefully a signal so Jackie can watch the football um, final tomorrow by the time this is out we would have known if we'd won or lost but at this point in time we haven't a clue she needs that TV signal um, and I do need internet to be honest because my other business is um, I make badges it's um, been a fabulous lot of business I set it up about three years ago I think it was because the pirate boat doesn't make money if it's raining or if it's winter we can't put stock out wanted to do something that I could make money from when it's raining and also post out and that's where Badges on Board was formed and it started off as um, just doing pirate badges because we do a lot of land events as well like Conway Pirate Festival so we started off doing little badges and then people asked for bigger badges so we got some more sizes and then I got asked for crew badges, then some vegan badges, and, it, and then some LGBT pride badges. It just went on and on and on. So now I've got a website and over a thousand badges on it. And we get between three and five orders a day, which is fabulous, and it just keeps us going. That pays the food each week. Um, so I have to, on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, they're the days that I have to jump on my bike or cruise the boat or something to try and get to a post box or a post office depending on the size of the orders. So this looks like a nice place to moor. I've got hundreds of triffids. I mean I, I prefer it overgrown a bit. Not, not probably so much there because I'm jumping into a, a, a nest of nettles. Fingers crossed everybody. <laughs> Those black clouds there, looks like it's gonna absolutely pee it down. So hopefully I can get myself moored up with a signal before that happens. It is, I can smell the air and it does smell rather moist. So I keep having to check my phone see what the signal's like. It's currently 3G here and ideally we need 4G for streaming. So we've got Netflix and then of course the football match. So they're the priorities. <laughs> so I've just seen my friends Helen and Grant. These are a great couple, really good fun and a right laugh. Now there's uh, about two miles here of moored boats, but it's a beautiful mooring. If I was going to take a permanent mooring, I'd probably be here because you've got all these views over here. You've got, except for the road, that's the only downfall, but still beautiful, stunning views. And then the side where all the boats are moored, you can actually get your car right next to your boat, which is fabulous. And there looks to be like a nice little community here as well. And for me, it's all about the community. So yeah, this is a lovely mooring, lovely place.
So it's a Euro final time. Two minutes in and we've scored and Jackie's very happy. It's now 1-1. One, one. We're not winning anymore. What do you think, Jax? Mm. She's not happy. So apparently somebody's on the pitch and we think it's a streaker, don't we, Jax? <laughs> they haven't shown it and that would have been the most entertainment all night for me. <laughs> Bit of nudity. So it's gone to penalties. It's at penalties! The football was pretty uneventful. We lost. We're leaving this beautiful mooring today, heading off to the boatyards. Hopefully they can fit us in for this new bearing. It's a, it's a really warm day, but it keeps spitting with rain. So hopefully it'll stay dry till we get there. It's not far to go. joys of boating so now I'm all at Chas Hardin's boat yard they're going to come and have a look um, and see if I, what parts I need to order if anything um, to get me on my way properly because even though I've managed to get to here she, she really hurt my shoulder you can feel the resistance on the tiller um, so hopefully it'll be all good <laughs> 